Hi guys, and welcome back to Life of Posey. I'm super excited for today's video because we're gonna announce the winner of the custom made dog dress giveaway. But first I wanna show you a quick tutorial on how you can make a little pouch to attach to your leash to carry your little doggy bags in. I know that I have some bags that I bought a couple years ago that don't fit into your standard doggy bag roll and so I thought I would make a little pouch that I can stick them in and actually you could stick any kind of bag into this pouch you just fold them up and put them in super easy to make and it's actually very handy so follow along and we will also find out who the winner is so I've chosen this black and white buffalo check for my pouch I think that this is a nice print and it'll go with most of Posey's leashes so the next step is to measure out our rectangle of fabric that we will need I just happen to already have this cut out to a larger size, but I'm gonna cut it down smaller. I need a four and a half by a five and a half inch rectangle. So here is my little rectangle of fabric and it looks pretty small, but remember we're just putting small little doggy bags in here. You could always make this bigger if you feel that will be helpful to you. The next step is to turn this over and we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and fold these over two times, about a quarter of an inch each time, or maybe even smaller, an eighth of an inch, and then another eighth of an inch. And sew along this edge, and then do the same to this side, and fold along this edge. These are our four and a half inch sides. The long sides are five and a half here. We're just gonna hem the four and a half inch side over two times, and run a small little stitch line on both sides. So I'm gonna to run to the sewing machine and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've hemmed both of the sides of this piece of fabric. So I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna work on our fabric ring that we will use to attach it to the leash. For this, we will need a rectangle that is one and a half by two and a half inches. Once you have this small rectangular shape, go ahead and flip it over and we are going to fold it in half, finger press it to this halfway point. We are going to bring this side in to meet up with that little press mark that we made and the second one up as well. So they're both meeting in the middle and then fold it over one last time and give it a good finger press. Now we're gonna bring it to our machine and sew on this top line as well as the bottom to give it a nice finished look. Okay, I'm back from the machine and as you can see, I've stitched on the top and the bottom and it gives us a lot of stability as well. We are going to have this fold over and it will be your little loop. Okay, now it's time to assemble this little pouch. We are going to take first our little strap that we made here and I found in my key drawer, one of these little key ring loops that you can spin your keys onto. You could use anything like this. You could even use a D-ring, which is something we use sometimes with the dog dresses to hook um, the leashes onto, something along those lines. But I think that this is something that most of us probably have an extra one of. You're gonna go ahead and string your strap through it and just kind of fold it over and give it a little press so it stays put and then set this aside. Next, we're gonna take our rectangle that we have hemmed both sides of and we are gonna fold one side towards the center and take the other side and fold it towards the center as well, but just slightly overlap it, basically covering up this hemmed area, just like so. If it's a little bit off center, you can adjust it. I'm gonna pull mine this way a little bit and then bring this one back and overlap it slightly. And that looks pretty central for me. So next, I'm gonna take a clip or a pin and put it down here at the bottom to hold these layers together. And at the top, I'm gonna to open it slightly so that I can lay in my strap with the little ring on it. So I'm going to take this piece, make sure these edges are lined up nicely. With this open, I'm gonna lay it right in the middle here and line up my raw edges of the strap up to the raw edges of this top portion of the rectangle and then fold my fabric right back on top of it and take a clip or a pin 
and sandwich all of those layers together. Now I'm going to bring it to my sewing machine and sew down the bottom edge and the top edge using about a quarter inch seam allowance and remembering to backstitch at the front and the end of both seams. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine and I've stitched all the way across the top and bottom. And so all we have to do now is flip it right side out. So right here, we are going to open it up and push it all to the right side. You can take a little something sharp to push your corners out. Just be careful not to poke through the material. And as you can see, we have this really adorable little pouch to put doggy bags in. So let me show you how I'm gonna stuff mine. These are the doggy bags that I bought a couple years ago at TJ Maxx and never ended up using because they didn't fit into Posey's regular um, doggy bag pouch. So I can now take them and put them to good use. They're nice bags, but as you can see, they're not on a roll. Most of those doggy bag holders are made for rolls of bags. So I can just take several of these little bags and fold them up. and take them and stick them into my pouch. You could even use regular little grocery, disposable grocery store bags. Any shape bag will fit in here. And then I have them in my pouch. I can take this and attach it to Posey's leash with this ring and I have my doggy bags on the go. Alrighty, I'm over here at my laptop and my son has set me up with a system that will choose a winner at random. And let's see who that winner will be. Holly Hummer. Holly, you are the winner. I'm so excited to make you a custom dog dress. I will get a hold of you and get your dog's measurements so I can start creating it. Congratulations. Congratulations.